This lesson deals with the dot convention. You can find these notes in the ECE202 ebook in chapter 15, starting on page 6. In our last video, we assumed that the cross coupling between coils was additive. Now, what additive means is that a positive rate of change of current in coil 2 induces a positive voltage in coil 1, and vice versa. The additive assumption produces a positive sign on the mutual inductance terms. It is possible for a positive rate of change in coil 2 to induce a negative voltage in coil 1 and vice versa. We can do this by changing the spatial orientation of the coils. To account for the additive and subtractive coupling, the general form of our coupled coil VI characteristics includes a plus and minus sign on the mutual inductance terms. I've rewritten those right here, where I've got V1 is equal to L di1 dt plus or minus m times di2 of t dt, and the voltage V2 is plus or minus m di1 dt plus L2 di2 dt. Both plus signs go together, both minus signs go together. If we define m as a positive quantity, what would determine the true sign if we were to measure this in lab? The correct sign depends upon the spatial orientation of the two coils and the reference marks given to the coil's voltages and currents. We're going to use a dot notation in the following way. Let me read rule number one. Mutual inductance is additive when both current reference directions point toward or both point away from the dotted terminals, otherwise it's subtractive. We could also do it with voltage. Now let me read rule two. Mutual inductance is additive when the voltage reference marks are both positive or both negative at the dotted terminals, otherwise it's subtractive. Let me show what that means on a coil right here. So here we've got a voltage V1, a voltage V2, and a current I1 and I2, and then the dots on both coils. So if both currents are entering the dot, the M term is positive. So you have a positive value here and a positive value here. I put a plus sign here just to emphasize this is positive. If you had this current entering and this one leaving, then this would be negative and this would be negative. Or you could look at the voltages here using a passive sign convention. If I have a plus sign by the dot and a plus sign by the dot, then M is positive. If I were to have both negatives here, the M would still be positive. But if this one's positive by the dot and now I have this defined this way for V2, then I have a minus sign for M. And this is the dot notation for coupled coils.